Hi, it's Hugh here from Creator Up. Today, we're gonna talk about image stabilization for your 360 and VR videos with a different software. We're gonna stabilize the footage with Mocha VR. Let's take a look at the two footage on the left without the image stabilization. I basically shot this with a Nikon Key Mission 360 video camera on a selfie stick on top of my head. And I try to travel as stable as possible, but still the end result is unwatchable, especially if you try to watch it on a VR headset. On the contrary, on the two videos on the right, it's very stable. Even when I pan around, look around, it does not take me out of that immersive experience. So let's take a look at how I achieve this image stabilization with Mocha VR. So we are back in After Effects. Mocha VR doesn't need to work exclusively with After Effects. It can actually work directly in Premiere or in other editing software of your choice, like Luke, Flame. But since I have After Effects, so I will demo Mocha VR inside After Effects. So I just brought in the footage in here and create a comp. So go ahead and click the footage. And we would drop in Mocha VR right here. Drop it, drag and drop on top of your footage. But before we go into Mocha, make sure that your footage is in full resolution. The reason why is Mocha VR look at pixel directly from After Effect into Mocha VR. So if you are in let's say half quality, you will only look at half of the pixel. So the accuracy of tracking will be not as accurate as you are in full resolution. So after you make sure you click in full resolution, click the Mocha icon and open open and open Mocha VR. Now we are inside Mocha VR. So Mocha VR brought in a lot of new features. It really helped 360 and VR video editing. So let's demo this new feature real quick. In here, if you click the 360 button, you will actually go into VR mode. So it simulates the same view perspective like you are viewing the video in any VR headset or on YouTube. By hitting the keyboard X key, you can pan around like so or pan behind. Just like you are inside YouTube. And then if you hit Z, you can zoom out and zoom in to find more accurate area for tracking. So it's a very, very convenient and workflow inside Mocha VR. I'll turn it off for now. But for this purpose, we try to stabilize our footage. So the best way to st stabilize our footage is actually find the footage horizon line. And then we're gonna track the pixel around the horizon line and then stabilize the footage based on those tracking data. So to do tracking in Mocha, first pick on the X pen tool, and then I will just track the horizon line. I will start from here to here, and then I'm gonna including the tower. Right click to close the blind. So now we have a selection area to tracking. Just tighten that the corner a little bit. Under here on the track panel, make sure that you pick the perspective because we want to track perspective as well. And then on a minimal pixel use, you can increase the tracking accuracy by tracking more pixel. You can select 80 here, depending on how fast is the machine. So after this setting, we can go ahead and track forward. Click this button to track forward. So now just let Mocha do its thing. This is a long process. So we will come back when it's done. So now the tracking is done. Uh, we can scrub through the footage and look like the selection is sticking. Uh, you can go into 360 and look at the tracking area. So now we are gonna stabilize the footage based on the horizon line. So how to do that is go into pick the selection right here, go into reorient, and then you will see a red line. 
to indicate the horizon line, the goal is to match this red line into your real footage horizon line. So in here, we can show control to bring up the control. And as you see this on screen control, you can adjust the line to try to match the horizon line. So it's easier to actually go into 360 mode and look around the footage. It's X and pan around to find Okay, right here in this footage, in the back of the camera, we actually have an object structure sit right on top of the horizon line. And that is close, so it's easier to match. So now I go ahead and try to match this red line. Again, this structure. So move it in right here. To a little bit. So now the red line is aligned with the horizon line. That's all we need to do. Go ahead and save and close Mocha VR. Now we are back into After Effects. So inside After Effects, we're going to apply the result with Mocha VR. You can basically just click Render. And then in Module, you choose Reorient. We can bring the resolution back to quarter, so we faster render time. So we are basically done. It's that simple. So now we just go ahead and render the footage. We just add to Adobe Media Encoder. Check the render and max depth, constant bit rate, for a hundred. The most important part is check the video is VR and then pick monoscopic and then check the use maximum render qualities hit OK and then you go ahead and render so now the rendering is done let's take a look at the final result but before we take a look at the final result let's take a look at the one without the stabilization so we can do a clear comparison so here's the one without stabilization as you see uh, the camera is up and down. It's very shaky. And then let's take a look at the final result right here. As you see, the final result is very stable. You can pan around. It's still very stable. So great. That is how you stabilize your 360 video footage with Mocha VR. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get rid of the camera guy, which is me right here, and my shadow with Mocha VR. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And I will see you next in the next tutorial.